Yo, what's up, what's up? Welcome to another Endgame Study, courtesy of Chess.com is training, uh, training tactics trainer. So it's white to move. Now there's a big question here. As always, pause your video, try to solve this on your own. And the big question is, is it white to play and win? Or white to play and draw? Because we have an issue with that pawn on E2. Very difficult to stop that pawn. So what are we going to do? First thing is clear. If knight to b7, he cannot take on a4 because knight c5 followed by knight d3. So he would have to do something else. So knight b7, he would have to go king to b4. At which point we could go c3, but then he can go king b3 maybe. That doesn't feel right to me. Doesn't feel right. Hmm. What to do? What to do? If pawn to c3 immediately, it doesn't seem so good. Yeah, so maybe we're trying to... I can't figure it out if we're trying to win or draw. I mean, right now I'm having trouble finding a way to draw, so... It's uh, worth considering. I have an interesting idea, but it doesn't seem realistic. Yeah, um... I can't remember what my plan was. <laughs> uh... Oh, knight b7, king b4, king b6, he makes a queen, and then I was looking at the move, knight c5, and we're kind of threatening c3 mate, and it's not even mate, so it just doesn't look, doesn't look realistic. <clears throat> Alright, so what to do here? What's the key square? The key square is a square that control that attacks c6 and d3. Uh, why is that? Because well, like if our pawn was on b3, for example, and our knight was on e5, or not e5 exactly, like. I don't know, somewhere, what, what attacks those two squares? Is e5 the only one? I guess so. And b2. <laughs> uh, b2 doesn't look like a good square. Like, knight c6 would be mate if our pawn was on b3. But the knight is very far away to get to, to c6. So, it just doesn't feel right. This puzzle's stumping me, man. Stumping me big time. Alright, let's start looking at all the candidate moves. And every single knight move needs to be considered here. Knight c4, king to b4. Then, knight e5 is annoying in winning. So knight c4, he must go king takes a4. That's important to notice. How will that help us in any way? We can now play b3, and due to the past thing that I mentioned, he's required to go king b5. So I'm looking at this. If here at knight e5 to d3 will win. So he must capture. Now we have this move. If, again, if here at knight e5, wins. So he must go here. So the key is, can we find a good move here? I think so. No. Um, e, so close, so close. Knight a3 is very... I'm sure this is the answer. I just gotta, I just gotta find the move here. Knight e5. Knight e5 wins. Okay. Knight e5. And if he makes a queen, 
we have c4 check. If king c5, knight d3 check. If king b4, knight d3 check. If king a5, ooh, it's checkmate. So that looks like the answer to me. Let me double check it. And yeah, it is correct. That's kind of that's kind of a cool situation with that knight there. It's hard to find the idea at first, but once you do, it's just wins. There's no way to for black to. I mean, the knight just goes. To, the knight is doing a lot of things at the same time from the square. It's going to d3, c6, and black has no defense. So cool puzzle. Um, awesome. All right, uh, I guess that's all for today. Uh, congratulations if you solved this one right. Has anyone gotten all ten puzzles right this month? I got nine. I got one like, okay, I sort of got it right, but then at the end of the puzzle I did something really stupid because I was not not focused. But I will see you tomorrow with another one. Thanks for watching. Everyone should do Tactics Trainer on chess.com. It's, cool, it's a cool thing. Uh, I especially like it. I love the endgame studies. Uh, I think it's especially good if you're like rated under 2200 because at some point when the puzzles get really high rated, they're not so... The, the, the patterns aren't so good. I think it's a very good program though for like maybe 2000 and under or even 1800 and under. Uh, as you get higher rated, it's less effective. That's all. Uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.